So we all love to have a colorful life, but nowadays the colors are always disturbing our life. So in our talk, in this video, we are going to discuss about the herd immunity which pops here and there in the social medias and there are many myths regarding this herd immunity. So we will discuss about this in the whole video. Know about health updates and health tips, wellness diet and lifestyle. Do subscribe our channel and press the bell icon to get notified. So before going to the video, our team has decided to do a tribute video for the COVID-19 warriors worldwide. So have a look into it. So what is herd immunity? Look at the word herd. The herd means nothing but a community or a group of people or a population that develops a immunity to a particular infective disease is known as a uh, herd immunity or a indirect protection. So to be specific, out of the population we discussed, 80% of the population should develop immunity to a particular infective condition. For example, when 5 persons are being exposed to a uh, infected person, 4 should develop immunity towards a particular infection and should not have any symptoms regarding the disease. Yes, we have developed herd immunity for few diseases. The diseases that we have developed herd immunity are like polio, pox disease and uh, mumps too. So, uh, you, are, you, you are now you may get a question, even now we get a diseases like chickenpox and uh, measles in our community. Yes, we do have few uh, community spread of these diseases till date because of the lower exposure to the vaccines in those areas. So in this disease, we have developed the uh, vaccines for those infections and 90% of the uh, population have developed the immunity towards a particular infection. And that by we can authenticate there is a herd immunity for those infections. Yes, we could develop herd immunity even for COVID-19 by following the basic principles. The basic principle of developing a herd immunity as we discussed earlier is by developing the vaccine and 90% of the population should be immunized for those particular infective diseases. The most challenging part in this is there is a mutation in COVID-19. As of now, there have been 10 different chains that have been reported in COVID-19. Since there is no vaccines found till date and there is a mutation happening, the adults may develop their immunity towards COVID-19, whereas immune suppressed people and children may develop a disease of COVID-19. As we discussed about the herd immunity in COVID-19 scenario, it is clear that apart from herd immunity, we have to develop our personal immunity. As of now, in Tamil Nadu, 80% of the COVID cases are asymptomatic. So what is asymptomatic? That is nothing but they don't have any symptoms that regarding to COVID-19, but they will be a super uh, carrier for super carrier and a super spreader of COVID-19 to others. The positive of these cases, there won't be any severity among them, but the worst cases, there, there will be the, the, the spread will be without any sign. So, uh, for as of now, we shouldn't worry about the herd immunity. It may come in future. The current uh, worry should be on our personal immunity. Our government has decided to give uh, Kabajara Kudinir and Zinc tablets with other nutrition tablets with a good diet for those uh, asymptomatic carriers. As I said before, Please de develop your personal immunity than thinking or worrying about your uh, herd immunity. So for developing your personal immunity, have a good diet and a good sleep without any worries and stress. That, that's the most uh, key thing you should have developed now. And include Kabajara Kunir in your daily or uh, alternative days in your diet. So if you like this video, give a thumbs up and share with your friends. If you have any queries, do comment in the comment section. We will be answering in the next videos. Don't forget to subscribe our channel and click the bell icon to get notified. 
to get more health updates from our channel. Thank you.